which of the following cannot be appropriately placed in box 1. So if we just see the options here, we'll have S SCL, Kessels, Intrinsic Factor, Peptic Amylase and Pepsinogen. So here we'll be seeing, yes, there are certain cells, chief cells, ECL cells, parietal cells, mucus neck cells. Okay, then you have surface mucus cells and then you are going to have mucus layers. Okay, so I uh, will just try to understand this. Uh, if we just uh, try to understand the gastric secretion. So in the gastric secretion, basically uh, this, the total secretion per day is about 2.5 liter per day. That is one thing. The second thing is acidic pH is seen here generally 1.8 is the average pH but we can always consider this to be 1.523 okay now the source of the secretion is going to be the flask shaped structure called gastric glands so we'll be having gastric glands that will be doing the secretion of the gastric juice right so gastric secretion will be by the gastric gland and these are basically the flask shaped <coughs> structures now now if we see the various important cells here, so first of all we will have the surface cells. Now these surface cells, they are generally bicarbonate rich cells and they secrete the mucus. Okay, so these are going to produce the mucus and they are, this SCO3 will be acting as buffer and that will be doing the acid neutralization. Okay, because the pH is going to be acidic here, so these cells, this mucus are near the mucosa neutralization is required so that the lower cells are not injured in such a low pH right then we'll have the parietal cells now these parietal cells are going to produce the gastric acid that is your HCl and it will also be producing the Kessel's intrinsic factor okay Then we have the another uh, important cells. These are known as the enterochromaffin cells. Enterochromaffin like cells actually, and these like uh, these cells generally are the source of histamine. So these are the source of histamine, and they will be like increasing the acid. Okay, so histamine is responsible for increasing the acid in this case. Then we'll have the chief cells. Now these chief cells produce pepsinogen. Oh, and the pepsinogen is a protein digesting enzyme. Then we'll have the G cell. Okay, now these G cell will be secreted in the antrum and they will be producing the gastrin. Okay, they will be producing the gastrin. Then we have the next cells that is a house for the stem cells. Okay, so stem cells will be there. That will be working as the uh, the housing for the stem cells will be the next cell here actually so the parietal cells these are going to produce intrinsic factor of Kessel and that is important for if I just talk about the parietal cells these are going to produce the Kessel intrinsic factor and that is important for vitamin B12 absorption now this is very important and we call this vitamin B12 as the Kessel's extrinsic factor so that is important then uh, in certain conditions some auto antibodies are formed against the parietal cells okay and these cell uh, these antibodies are known as the anti parietal antibodies and these are going to cause a kind of anemia that is known as the pernicious anemia okay and that will also be causing the achlorhydria achlorhydria okay so no acid will be generated okay because these are going to be secreting the cells so no acid will be generated here as well as anemia will be there there will be b12 deficiency because you won't be able to uh, get the cases intrinsic factor and b12 uh, will not be absorbed so this is something which we have to understand about the various secretions and various parts of the gastric glands here so if we just try to understand this particular hair as well so you will be able to see yes chief cells are there ecf cells are there okay these are enterochromaffin like cells okay then we have the parietal cells that will be uh, secreting the hcl and intrinsic factor 
then we'll be having the mucus neck cells which will be providing the uh, stem cells as well as the mucus layer will be formed by the surface mucus cells okay now uh, if we try to understand this and we'll be able to figure out that SCL yes it is secreted by the parietal cells even the Cassius intensive factor that is important for absorption of B12 is secreted by the parietal cells then this pepsinogen is secreted by the chief cells so the peptic amylase is the one which is not secreted here so in the box one the secretion will not be containing the peptide peptic amylase so answer is going to be your third the exception is going to be the peptic amylase here that cannot be appropriately placed in this box where the secretion is coming from all these cells so we'll quickly see the explanation here so if you see the structure of gastric gland you'll be having funding glands okay these fundic glands are going to be typical gastric glands only they will be situated in the body and the fundus of the stomach okay so there are these glands are long and going to be tubular and they generally have three parts body and again isthmus okay so you can read about these kind of uh, glands uh, at the bottom in the explanation here but yes chief cells are going to uh, produce the pepsinogen right parietal cells or auxentic cells are going to produce hcl as well as your uh, Cassel's intrinsic factor then you have mucus neck cell that will be uh, the housing for the stem cells actually and mucus uh, surface cells will be producing the mucus as well right then you have enterochromophil like cells that is also known as Kulchitsky cell and these cells are going to in, uh, produce the histamine that will be increasing the uh, acid right so these are the cells which we can see here then we have the pyloric gland so these are formed by G cells mucus cells and uh, EC cells and ECL cells okay then we have the cardiac glands okay these are short and tortuous and they will be uh, many mucus cells in these as well okay so this is how we can understand other cells which are found are ECL and EC and chief cells which can be seen in the cardiac gland so peptic amylase is something which is not secreted in the stomach okay so if you just try to understand uh, you can see the here the various sources and glands and their secretions are mentioned so again if we see here we will be seeing that acid that is SCL, Cassel's intrinsic factor and pepsinogen these are the things that will be secreted here but we won't see peptic amylase so answer is going to be option third here.